And so, wait, are you surprised you're out here day one of training camp after, I mean, an injury happened? And, uh, um, no, nah, not surprised at all. Um, been working real hard to get back to this point. Um, you know, just everyday grind. Uh, been a long journey, a long process, but you know, the goal is always to get ready for the season. Um, and we're here now and you know, I'm ready to go. Marcus, from a mental standpoint, is your goal right now to be familiar with Tyron, uh, kind of very similar what Marcus Williams and Malcolm Jenkins able to do in the back end? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's a new group of guys. Um, it's our first time together. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a learning process. You know, we, everybody has to get to know each other um, on and off the field. Uh, so, you know, I'm excited, you know, for this group to, to get to know all these guys, to to see how they play out there on the field, to see how they, you know, learn football and things like that. So, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting to support each other. Marcus, how did you feel in terms of movement and what you were asking your body to do with uh, I feel good. I mean, I've been working, um, you know, doing football like movements you know, throughout the whole off season um, to get to this point. Um, you know, working hard in the weight room and training room to get my body in, um, back football ready. Um, so you know, I feel good. How important is a communication and chemistry element for safeties? And- uh, that's the most important thing. Um, you know, making sure everybody's on the same page, uh, making sure you know everybody knows where each other is, is um, at the end of the day. Uh, so, you know, communication is probably the most important thing. And you and Tyron haven't really been on the field a lot together yet, some walk through, right. but is there stuff you guys can do off the field to kind of get familiar with one another? Yeah, just, you know, just uh, keeping in contact with each other, first off, um, and then just, you know, watching film with each other, um, you know, just talking over ball, you know, seeing how we each other sees things, things like that. Uh, is there like a similarity there that you guys are seeing? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we see each other um, here in different positions like that. You know, he, he likes to do certain things. I like to do certain things, but we're both interchangeable. So it's going to be a good at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Marcus, uh, what Dennis said yesterday is you can see both of you guys playing deep, playing inside or playing down. Right. So how do you feel about kind of shifting back and forth the game? Uh, that'd be good. I mean, it makes it uh, a lot harder to read, get a read on, um, you know, different guys do different things. Um, so, you know, you, it's not just one person here and one person there. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be good for us to be able to do both. When you initially suffered that injury and, and went through the whole process of getting the surgery. So mm-hmm. was this the timeline? Was this what they, the, the expectations were to get to this point? Or are you ahead of schedule or, or, or what was? Um, I'll probably say everything's pretty right on time. Um, you know, it was, you know, early in the process, you know, take it slow, let the things heal and things like that. But, you know, once you get closer to the time, you know, get on the grass, start pushing, pushing through things, things like that. So, you know, it's pretty right on schedule. You were talking about communication, it's a big deal. But mm-hmm. In terms of just learning the concepts of this defense, how's right. that? How's that uh, it's been coming along pretty well. Um, you know, it's first day, uh, you know, got to do it in OTAs a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a process. It's going to be an everyday um, learning curve. So, you know, it's going to be an everyday battle. Marcus, like you said, it's still a little early, but what's one of the most, what would you say is one of the most unique aspects about this new Orleans Saints defense? Uh, the culture, the energy, um, you know, the expectation everybody has for each other. Um, everybody holds each other to a high standard. And, you know, that's what you have to do um, to be able to have a good football team. What's been the biggest adjustment? Um, you know, just getting to know the guys. Um, that's, you know, probably the main thing. Uh, just seeing how everything operates. But, you know, at, you know, you've been around for a few a uh, few years, so you know you know how to adjust to certain things. Is there anything about the depth of the secondary that, that stands out? Just with how many guys you guys? Yeah, have? we're we're very deep. Um, a lot of guys can do a lot of different things, can play in a lot of different positions. So, you know, the group of guys that we have is going to be exciting to see what everybody can do. Marcus, how comfortable are you, and, and how much are you looking forward to the multiplicity of things that DA's talking about allowing you to do? Uh, I feel very comfortable, um, you know, getting to learn playbook, learning new things, uh, different schemes and things like that. But, you know, for the most part, I feel comfortable. Marcus, what has been some of your early impressions of Christian Shark working with him? Uh, I like him. A very intense, very detailed guy. Um, like I said, he holds everybody to a high standard. Um, he makes sure everybody's, you know, in the right spot, making sure everybody knows exactly what they're doing and things like that. So everything's been good so far. Marcus, who did your surgery to prepare the Achilles? Uh, Dr. Anderson. In Green Bay? Yeah. yeah. And was there like a, was there like a breakthrough moment in the rehab? Like, like for guys go through this where it's like really, really slow and then all of a sudden it's like- uh, Yeah, there was a point, um, you know, like I said earlier, um, things were, you know, 
letting things heal and taking things easy. But once it was time to get going, um, just hit the ground running. Yeah. Nunes is uh, first speech to the team. What, right. what was his message to you all? So uh, you it's going to take everybody. Um, everybody's going to have to come together. We got to. Everybody's going to have to get on the same page. Um, you know, once, you know, we become a team, um, everybody, you know, enjoying everybody like that, you know, things can be in the limits for us. What's it like to join a team that's been really synonymous with one coach for over a decade and now you're playing for that team and it's right. a different guy? Um, I mean, it's a different guy, but, you know, the same principles in the building, um, same culture. Um, there's There won't be any let up, any drop offs or anything like that. So. Um, me coming in to this organization, to this new team, um, I'm excited. I'm, you know, wide eyes, open ears. So, you know, I'm excited. Everybody else is excited to be here. So it's going to be exciting here. How excited were you to come into this defense? I mean, the reputation right. that they have around the league mm -hmm. strong. Uh, yeah, no, just seeing these guys play, you know, on every level, you know, from the front to the linebackers to the secondary. Uh, you know, you got guys that are, you know, topping their positions. So, you know, I'm excited to, you know, plug myself in and, you know, see how great we can be. Well, what was it like sort of seeing DeMario from when you played with him as well? Right. Yeah. Radio, so um, so. You know, that same DeMario. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I was a rookie when I played with him first, but just, you know, he has that passion. He has that will for football. Um, so, you know, just being back with him is a great feeling. So how did you go about familiarizing yourself with the news in the offseason? I, I guess it would be some video you watched maybe. Last year. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you just got to watch film, um, learn how they did things, learn how things operate. Uh, you know, kind of, you know, similar schemes to, you know, what I've played in before, but different verbiage and things like that. So, you know, you just got to learn, learn the new stuff. Is there anything that stood out that you, that, you, know, you were watching and you were saying, this, this fits me? Uh, yeah, just, you know, the way they play, you know, just the intense they have on defense. Uh, the passion they have for football, so you know, I feel like I fit right in. Marcus, you've seen a few Florida Gators come through, guys like CJ, yep. and Janoris that have found success in the system. Is there mm -hmm. anything, whether it be culture or scheme wise, that you think? Uh, I would definitely say culture is the main thing. Um, you know, just how they love football here. Uh, you know, the guys that you mentioned, you know, they love football, so you know, I love football, so you know, I feel like I fit right in. What is it about the way you play that you think? Um, just my versatility. Um, I feel like I can play, you know, down in the box, back in the middle, in the slot, wherever you need me, um, blitzing, things like that. So I feel like I can do a lot of things. So I'm excited for this defense. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.